No it's a date. I'm just saying, if you need to, look at how that thing thing, look at how that thing thing, look at how that, okay. <laughs> Look at how that thing thing, look at how that thing thing. Gosh, my back. Like, it looks like I work out my back. That's crazy. I do, but it's still crazy. Hey guys, it's Najee here. Welcome back to my channel if you're new. Welcome. So today I have a couple date night inspired outfits. Each one is a different mood. So today's video is not gonna be for the same girl necessarily. It's for me because I'm the type of girl that like you see her one day she look like this, you see her another day she look like that. So these outfits are all different and inspired by like I don't know different moods. So if you're seeing one outfit you like, you don't like another outfit, that's fine, girl. Take what applies and let the rest fly. Okay. So if you want to get into today's date night outfit ideas, then just scroll down, hit the subscribe button, join the night G gang gang gang. Okay, and let's get into today's video. Okay, so my hair is looking very romantic, right? If you see me wearing the same outfit, my hair done, makeup done in the same way for about three, five videos, mind your business. The thing is about hauls is trying on clothes is so exhausting and hard that I literally am like, I do it once and I don't want to do it again. Like even in between time, in the meantime, in between time, since these packages have been coming in, I've been like trying on one thing and then I'm like, oh my God, that's enough. Oh Lord have mercy. Mm-mm-mm. Today drained me. I just want to make sure something that I'm excited about, like this cardigan fits. And then I'm like, okay, let's try something else on tomorrow. This is obviously outfit number one. This first outfit is super cute. I'm actually gonna wear it today. This cardigan is from Meshki. And so are these leggings. These are a long line leggings. So if you can't, because you can't see it, I'll insert a picture. But they're everything that you think they are and more. And I was going to order them in multiple colors, but I thought, be calm. You can do that later on in the year. You don't need three different colors today. Like, just, I need to like be smarter with my money and smarter with how I spend stuff. So I bought black because I can wear it with a lot of things. But I really wanted to get like a cream and they're navy because I know I can kill it. Like, Oh my gosh, the ideas that came to my mind with those, but I'm like, it's not a need, it's a want, so relax. So anyways, this is the outfit. Underneath, I am actually wearing a Skims bra, and I'm gonna show you that in my Skims video, um, but I just wanted to throw that out there, that this is a sheer cardigan. It is quality, it is not cheap either, because this is one of those ones where I was like, you don't need it, you want it, and I meditated on this cardigan for a long time. <laughs> and then I thought, Hmm, I need it. They also have a maxi dress that's made with the same pattern of fabric that I was going to buy, but it was $150, and I was like, you don't need it. You're not gonna, you're not going to a gala, so you don't need it. Like, it's not, it's date night for sure, but it's date night if you're going to, like, a place where they have ballet, <laughs> where, like, I'm talking, like, it's a big, like, it's a nice gown. Like, if it was a short, cuter gown, like, dress, I could see myself wearing it, but I was like, the length alone, I know I'm not gonna have a place to go to wear that, so I'm like, nah. But yeah, I love this outfit. I think it's perfect, it's comfortable, it's sexy. But yes, what I was saying about this paneled material is it is sheer and see-through. So if you're not wearing a bra underneath, you can see everything, which is fine. But if it's not what you're trying to give, a black bra underneath will look very nice and just as cute. Like in my mind, this is still sexy and because the bra is new, like I'm just kind of like, it gives like, not to say that someone would notice that like on a thing, I'm just saying, it's not like you're wearing like a tattered old bra underneath that. Find a nice bra, go buy a nice black bra, and it actually adds something to the outfit and the cardigan. But you can totally wear it without it. And if you have smaller areolas than me, you're probably gonna be okay. They might not be as obvious. Mine, however, would like to be showstoppers and like to be seen, so it's not the one, okay? These leggings are so comfortable. The material, material girl, I was like obsessed. I'm still obsessed. I'm obsessed with the concept of a long line legging with a split in the hem, especially because of how it looks on shoes. Let me show you shoes. What I would wear with this outfit are these cute little mules from Simi. For the most part, their fit is perfect. Even these ones, they're a bit big. I mean, you could size down. I don't think it's worth it though. Um, I think I'd rather not have my toes crawling over the front. You have to also remember with this shoe, it has a little toe. Whole, I don't know what to just to call this, but because of this, if you go down a size, this goes down a size as well. Everything gets a little smaller and everything will get a little tighter. So I would prefer to have the room. I'm just saying, this is a comfortable fit. I'm going into 30, guys. I'm shopping right now because I am 30, flirty, and thriving. Not gonna lie. 
<laughs> need clothes because I'm single. I'm thinking if I go on a date, I had no clothes. Like I literally was like, whoa, like it really dawned on me. That I have nothing to wear that's not business casual or boring or basic. Like it's just, it was killing me. So I'm like, I need clothes. I'm going on a trip for my 30th birthday. Um, and I'm a new size. I don't, half my closet doesn't fit me. Half, more than half does not fit me. And I was getting frustrated with the fact that I looked frumpy, like nothing was translating the way that I wanted it to translate on my body, on me, and I'm just like, you know what, let's start over. I'm wearing these earrings from ASOS, which I'm obsessed with. It's just like a little something more because the outfit is so basic, it's literally all black. <laughs> so because of that, I was like, I need something. And I think they're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. So even shopping for jewelry was like fun, and ASOS also has duties, so keep that in mind. But I'm glad I bought them because I have been struggling and I haven't had that many like jewelry pieces because I am not investing in jewelry, like real jewelry. I just, I don't got it like that. So I haven't been buying real jewelry and I think that I, but I still want to have jewelry pieces. The only thing I forgot to buy was a nice like dainty chain or something that's lighter on the neck. That would have been perfect for this outfit. Everything that I purchased was very heavy and I don't think that it complements this outfit. But anyways, this is outfit number one. Outfit number two is a poster girl dress. <laughs> And this was very controversial on my Instagram stories. All right, so date night outfit number two is this poster girl dress. I bought the matching thong. The price of this dress is not cute. <laughs> but we bought it, so it's cute. I love the color. It comes in a lot of colors. They also have, when did I lose a, when the fuck did I lose a button? Do y'all think I lost it in the wash? Cause I just, I washed this. Oh my god, I'm kind of annoyed because when you wash a $150 garment for the first time, on delicate, I might add, I don't anticipate losing a button, <clears throat> but I did. They sent, they, there's others that come with it, that it comes with, whatever, I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm pissed. Well, it, at least it came with a needle. It didn't, it came with thread, it came with a needle, and it came with extra buttons, so that's nice. Okay. They have, I was about to have to go look for a needle. So, but let me fix this real quick. It comes stitch a gal and whatever. A needle with the world's smallest eye. I'm not even joking. And because of that, I think I'm gonna take it out of the date night haul. I'm gonna show it to you guys so you guys can see what happened. It was supposed to be an outfit, but I'm not gonna say you're recommending this something like this for date night if a button pops off in front of your date. It's a hot girl dress, absolutely. It's something hot to wear if you have like a hot date, like something that you know is just like dine and dash back to this place i'm just saying oh and one more thing i also had to say don't buy the song for the dress it's nice because it's an exact matching color the fit on it is weird like i feel like i should have gotten a small i'm traditionally a medium literally everywhere else picture of it you can see the front i can show you the front i don't mind showing you that but there's a lot of excess fabric for a medium i'm wearing ten dollars for it to match but in an outfit like this i don't even have to wear underwear anyways it's just like look, I'm about to, I'm trying to take it off guys. Look, first of all, if you have hips, don't even bother. Don't bother, <laughs> look at this, that's how I would take it down. So first of all, why is the crotch on this so long? Whose friends is this long? I don't even know, it's called a zip line for my ass crack. And <laughs> you could have just fixed it, but I feel like you would have to know how women are shaped in order to do that, that, that is shade. But why would you shape, who? Does this flatter? Who wants the something to go straight across their side? Anyways, I'm not. I'm done talking. Anyways, bye. <laughs> I feel like all my date night outfits are from Meshki, but that does just kind of speak to their quality of their garments. I'm obviously not in it right, but I just threw it on to show it to you. I'm yet to change my earrings. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing terrible, but I haven't shot a haul in here, so it's weird. Not weird. It's just different. I'm also haven't shot a haul in so long that I'm kind of like getting distracted. <laughs> so this is. Cute for date night, very romantical, so I love that about it. Shopping is still kind of awkward and even foreign. This is a medium dress, which is, again, I would have picked up a large before, close to the first time. My only issue is, is this. And again, I when I tried on the first time, I said to myself, I'm like, I don't know if this is because I should have gone down a size, but I'm specifically referring to where the knot has to meet. I don't find that that's the most flattering way to do it. I, I can't think of another way to do it. I'm not a fashion designer. 
but I love the color, I love the cut and length of this dress, it's perfect. And what I noticed again, because when you buy a dress that has a slip and has a little weight to it, has like a lining, if you bend over, your whole ass is in out. It's cut, like, perfect, it's cut perfectly. Like, obviously the best way would be to get down like this, <laughs> but I'm saying, if you ever needed to bend over, you don't have to worry, baby girl, your whole, like, there's enough, okay? I wouldn't recommend it, but there's enough. Aside from that, I love the dress, I love the color, I love the cut, I love the fit. I don't know if my boobs are just awkwardly shaped, but I wish there was more cups so my boobs could actually sit in this. Have my friends like properly corset me in. And sometimes if you think about how people used to do corsets, you usually were holding yourself in and someone else was tying. So I think that's all it really needs, but I'm really obsessed with the color of this. It's perfect, it's romantic, and the straps are adjustable, so it can even go up. And that's what I'm saying again, I think. I just need some extra hands to help me. <laughs> Once that is done, we have a winner, winner, chicken dinner, baby. And look, this is my new part. <laughs> I, mean, I know it's a date. I know it's a date. I'm just saying, if you need to, look at how that thing thing, look at how that thing thing, look at how that, okay. <laughs> look at how that thing thing, look at how that thing thing. Oh, shoes. Wait a tick. So obviously all my shoes, all my shoes are from Simi. And I bought these ones. I feel like it's like a prom pose or something stupid. I bought these ones because I was like, oh, they're perfect. I haven't looked at them. So this is actually a first impressions, first reaction. Ah! This is Paola. Paola in gold. Why I picked Paola in gold is because one kitten heel. Guys, I, like I keep saying, I'm going into 30. I can't be, I can't be platforming around. It's not that I can't, I don't, I'm not as inclined to, because there was one pair of platforms in my cart that I might go back for on a rainy day, but I don't need them, right? Like, I'm telling you, I'm like, I don't need it. It's nice, again, it's a want, but it's not necessary. Whereas something like this, I will actually wear, it'll actually look good, and again, because we're doing a date night haul, it's a very romantic shoe. So it actually laces up all the way. It's funny, because I bet you if my mom ever watches this, she'll be like, Aren't those those shoes, the type of shoes that I would try to get you to wear when you were a kid? And it's like, well, yeah, of course. Me as a child doesn't want to wear these. Me as a 30-year-old who doesn't want her feet to hurt at the end of the night absolutely does. And I think the color is perfect for this dress. I wasn't going to try on shoes. I told you guys that. Um, oh, you would put the picture in, but because I just opened these and I want to see them. And I got gold. They came in another color I really liked. I think a nude. And I was like, mm. the gold does something with my skin. Oh yes, it's so cute. It reminds me of like if I was to like dance the foxtrot, like if I was like a ballroom dancer or something. You know what I mean? Once they're tied properly, especially the color is perfect. Oh, that was leg day in action. You saw that. Anyways, <laughs> let's put on the next dress. Sorry, I just put this on. I'm trying to finesse it, but this dress just call me Miss Congeniality. Just. Just the color, oh my gosh. So something I like always strive for, and I think I've said it before on my channel, I always strive to look like I'm in that era of like early 2000s, maybe late 90s. Like I, even I was talking to an Uber driver about this today because I had two really great, wonderful black men for Uber drivers from like different countries, but just really good conversations. But one of them was like, yeah, like I miss when like, women when they were like going out like they get dressed up he's like but the guys they don't know how they're dressing so the women just wear like jeans and the men wear jeans and i was like it's really true because one thing i loved about watching things like fresh prints and like those like date night episodes the girls would come over and stuff like this with a nice shoe their hair like they would go to the hair salon take it in what are, we don't do that anymore but they would go to the hair salon and get like and chat all day kiki which is actually what i did today which is so funny and my hair done and it's like that's what you do like that's what we used to do and like we used to actually like you know put a little oh my god this dress the color i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with the fact that it's a, like slip like the fit of it the color the back if you didn't see it I obviously just tied this real quick myself and this is like this is exactly an example of why I love Mashiki. Everyone can fight me all day about the price. They actually they charge you duties as well but you see the duties up front 
you do it during checkout, which I love. Like, that to me is such a good thing because I can literally sit there and be like, is it worth it? Everything else was pop-up video surprise when the mailman's at my door. And I'm like, that's annoying to me because I want to know, or like when it was in transit, I'll give the DHL people that, but I want to know at checkout and, and give me an exact amount of how much it's going to be, how much am I spending, how much is this costing me. I think I appreciate that more than it coming up later on because then you plan and you budget and you buy and then this shit, taxes and duties for my Canadian girl, it blows up your whole fucking mood, it's so annoying. Anyways, I love Meshki, I'm a Meshki stan, the quality of a dress, because we can buy slip dresses anywhere, we can, but they don't look like this, they don't feel like this, and they don't have this color, I guarantee you, gosh, my back, like it looks like I work out my back, that's crazy, I do, but it's still crazy, wow. I said something about the tie. I actually tied this perfectly. Why did no one tell me? I just looked at my back in the mirror. Perfectly tied. Oh my gosh. I did such a good job. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, but yeah, date night outfit. I gave you what? Two pairs of shoes. Uh, technically, three dresses, one set. And I think I could. You really can make anything a date night outfit. But these ones specifically, I liked. Again, all from Meshki. Well, except for the poster girl dress um, because they're actually like, really romantic and that's something that I'm really like working on like being a very romantic person I love that and I think that even like looking romantic smelling romantic feeling romantic it's all part of the whole like vibe so we're obsession like this I can't wait to pop out of this like this I wanted my, my, my birthday dress to be like green but I think this I take the cake. I'm just saying. Anyways, we're talking about birthday. This is date night, so let's just close this video up before I go any further. But these earrings, I feel like, can go with anything, so that's kind of the annoying part. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching today's date night haul. I don't want to call it a date night haul because the clothes were purchased with other intentions. But thank you guys so much for watching me put together some date night outfits. Let me know which one was your favorite. I thought it would be the black outfit for sure. And now I know it's this dress. This dress by far, and I didn't even plan it to be last on purpose. It just happened that way. I really am obsessed with this. Like this is really cute, the color, everything. The way it looks, the way it feels, the way it moves. I'm like, yeah, you wanna, mm, okay. <laughs> I'm like, this gotta go, I gotta wear this somewhere. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I put on today, anything at all. Leave that in the comments down below. And as always, smash that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button and pay a ting's bills today. Please and thank you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!